Hello my friends! It is episode 68! Let's rumble. There's nothing I really want to do. Bring the pain! And the pizza. In 35 minutes or it's free. Thailand is liberated! Switzerland towards allies 5%! Venezuela towards allies 7%! Long range aircraft development. Anti aircraft level 5, not gonna really use it for anything. Logistics for India. Wow, look at the amount of money the UK is making now. You know, I could I could fit an entire army and take it to Italy. If I just start making this kind of money, I could literally just start building a huge army and take and send it to Italy to open up another front. Just stretch the Germans. Defensive artillery! Okay. Two for two. It's alright. Worst things happen at sea, as they say. This war is such a grind. Nice! The air defense is a bit back there. Oh, it's the one thing I haven't got protected. Interceptors! Nice. Oof. Two more damage though. Probably won't attack again. Brutal. <laughs> it's just taking damage. Oof. seem to have found the unit that they're obsessed with. Man, Japan is taking so much damage. It's actually shocking.
Man, those rockets are irritating. <laughs> what can I do? Nothing. I just gotta sit here and take it. It's a critical hit, and it did immense damage. I don't know what triggers these stupid criticals, but they are really irritating when they happen. Because you just, you just take this massive hit, and then usually they also take a massive hit. Right, two damage for the Germans. Nice. That damage is getting really severe. I mean, some damage was taken, but nothing too severe. This hit was nasty. But they must have an HQ down there. Because the units are not like crumbling away like they did before. Japan launches thousands of balloon bombs against the USA. Lol. Didn't that just not do anything? Wasn't that like, just complete fail? Fresh tanks to reinforce Okay, well the Special Forces team is repairable.
can't afford to just keep tickling the enemy. These, uh, these two must attack in concert. They gotta get their strikes and then attack. So, these guys are going to attrition now, but uh, I'll get them next turn. I don't know where that carrier went and I don't really care. mobility for India because they move too too slow it hurts my mind how slow they are Okay. Let's get these units. Healed up and shipped. The India units are going to just go here. Is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take Team India and go over here to help out. waiting for mobility but the truly funny part is that we have nothing to buy right now I could buy armies but it's not really necessary so we can save up money for future mobility upgrades and then we'll apply mobility to all of our front line that's not engaged and suddenly these aircraft are gonna find themselves a lot less their, their lives are going to be a lot less safe than they were before. Let's put it that way. I don't know how much work the Indian team can do here, but maybe I can bring them over here. Both India and China needs mobility. 
and they're both researching it. But the other thing that India can grab is like level five logistics so that they can push forward no matter no matter what. Nice. Damn. Looks like they got poor supply here again as well. Okay. Freshly refitted fleet out. I'll eventually have it all together in one place. everywhere don't help. I can refit this battleship right now by actually shuffling it in. There you go. If you don't take its turn you can you can do that, which is kinda silly. I could do the same with this one. Kinda weird how the truffle shuffle thing works, but hey. I don't know if it's be any quicker to send some of these ships all the way back to the US. Anyway. that carrier makes an appearance again somewhere nearby. Five battleships is more than enough to bring it down. Okay, yeah, by next turn I'll have these battleships in position and then that carrier. It had better, it had better be a, that's all I have to say. It's going to be a few turns before these troops gather and I can load them all up. Oh, 
Okay, it was the US Airborne that got smacked. That's okay, they'd used their strike anyway. It's an AA gun. We killed that fire earlier. Is it still around? Nice. Let's reinforce that front line, shall we? I'll take that EXP. I'll take it to the bank. Okay, that one doesn't have a strike. This one doesn't have a strike either. These two do. I could take this town, but it's very easy for the enemy to attack this town. We did this before, and it was a mistake. Nice. You know what's funny is, this is generating EXP for me. Funnily enough. I was wanting to land that, but apparently I'm, I haven't got the movement. Spend money for these amphibious transport attacks because we can. Sadly, Oslo is not connected to the sea. Neither is Kirkensand. Bergen is. But there's not really much point in trying to liberate Norway. Nice. Oh, my 
Let's hit. Okay, shells available, shells available. Supply down here is not that great, owing to the bombing of Bordeaux. Four for six. don't have any spare tanks to fill in the gap, so I can't really afford to press the attack. All oh, right, one maxed out artillery. It's not the exciting one, but hey. The grind continues. I wish I could hurt that tank some more, but I don't have the facilities right now. Well, at least level three units will start to get some real hurt. When they attack someone, the pain will definitely be felt. You know, I figured the way to break the stalemate was to slowly upgrade my tanks to level 5, but you can't actually do that, so... I have no idea what the point of level 4 tanks is going to be, or even if it unlocks anything. Okay, nothing else to say or do on this front. None of my tanks have hit one pip yet. Unfortunately. So, it may be some time. Okay, heavy armor for the British. These are units for the for the Japanese front. This 
is for the European front. Probably be like another four turns before the fleet is ready. Another four turns before the fleet is ready and all these forces, all these US forces that are here are gathered here. And the Great Armada is ready. And then we'll hit Naha and the goal will be to clear whatever's here and drop an AA gun. Maybe we'll hit Taipei as well, once again. Clear the defenders and drop an AA gun. So I've got AA positions like right in their face. In your face! Gonna try and drag the damaged units out. Mark three artillery. It's gonna be glorious. Hopefully, Team India can follow up this road. get positioned here on the corner and start helping to chip away at the Japanese right the Russian front supply. Oh well. Right, I'm gonna say that we want this unit gonna say I want it here but I'm just making it easy for that tank to just slide in and hit me aren't I? Let's put it here. Is there a guy behind me? I think I killed that guy though. Let's swap these. So the morale on this one's really bad. Is coming.
pull this unit back. Okay, minor damage. Nice! That'll blunt further enthusiasm. Can't quite afford them. Seven and six, five and four, and the heavy tanks. I think I'll save up. Oh! Okay, I think it's referring to the fact that the uh, artillery will hit me. Okay. Damn. I guess artillery is the answer to my train cheese. I'm going to save up resources so I can buy those heavy tanks back. Although I think I'm only allowed to buy one. I'm only allowed to buy one. about to be winter. Another dose of that Russian winter event would be nice. Okay. This mechanized got killed once upon a time. I don't want to, you know, I could take a huge amphibious landing and just like hit somewhere, but then it would just trigger Germans. Um, home defense, like all the majors get free units when they get attacked. And that's the last thing I want <coughs> is to cause them to but to uh, start creating ass loads of new units. By an army? Sure, why not? I am very much looking forward to 
gathering this mighty force together. I'm starting to inflict some hurt on Japan. Get them out of the war. And who knows, if we just keep building units all day long and I end up with massive armies. Well, I think that I think the goal is still to smash Japan, but once Japan is down, <clears throat> we could uh, open up the Italian front. Might as well. I might actually use that at some point. Um, we could uh, we could open up the Italian front if the grind towards Paris just doesn't happen, and we're just stuck wading through these units. You know what? This can't attack. And this can't attack. And this can't attack. Maybe next turn I can clear a path and actually just create a line here. It'd be ages since I had this line, but the problem is... That just puts us closer to the capital which they're using for supply. And unless I can get parked next to the capital to degrade it. The alternative is to strap bomb the garbage out of it. Hmm. Put that back in there in case I need to repair the fires. Advanced fighters level three. Can carriers get that? It looks like they can. Of course, they've moved this turn. How far can they go? Three. Three is as high as they can go. Forces. Oh, this has a strike. But no access. I should move it up, though. Man, so many carriers bit the dust. There's two numbers here. Like one's potential divisions and the other's divisions, which you're allowed to have. When you kill a division, it returns to the list. I could deploy another 19, it says. 
Let's just see a potential divisions. Four. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm overthinking everything. Uh, I think that's it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.